In this video, we'll be taking a look at Canva's AI video generator and generating various videos to test it out. On Canva, we can easily turn text prompts into any video that we can imagine. Simply describe the video that you want, and the AI video generator will instantly bring your ideas to life. Whether you need to add dynamic visuals to a presentation or just want to generate a cool video clip for social media, you can now do this with a few clicks on Canva. So let's head over to Canva and see what the AI video generator can do. But before we get started, if you haven't joined Canva Pro yet, simply scan the QR code on the screen here to unlock your free trial. With Canva Pro, you can access tons of premium tools and features, such as the background remover, thousands of professionally crafted design templates, access to all of the images and graphics in the Canva library, and tons of other tools to help you create amazing designs. To try Canva Pro for free, scan the QR code on the screen, or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So to access Canva's AI video generator, the first thing we'll need to do is head over to the Canva editor. To do this, you can open up any project that you like. But for this example, I'm just going to open up a new YouTube thumbnail project. This should take us over to the Canva editor. Here's where we can create our designs and access all of Canva's tools and features. So to access the Canva AI video generator, let's look at the menu on the left hand side here and go to the Elements tab. Here's where you can access all the shapes, graphics, and videos available in the Canva library. But if we go to the menu here and scroll down a bit, we'll see a section that says AI Image Generator. This now does a lot more than AI image generation, so I'm guessing they may change the name soon. But at the top of the section here, you should see a tab that says Generate Your Own. If we click this, it should take us to Canva's Magic Media AI Generator. Here's where we can use text prompts to generate images, graphics, and of course, videos. Since we'll be testing out the Magic Media AI video generator, let's click the Videos tab at the top here. And here's where we can use text prompts to generate AI videos on Canva. Keep in mind, this is a new technology, so not all of your videos are going to come out perfect. Also, if you look at the bottom of the app here, you'll have a certain amount of videos that you can generate per month. Each credit represents one video, so make sure you check your credits before you start creating. So now let's have some fun and generate some videos to test out the AI video generator. To generate your video, simply start by describing the video that you want in the text field here. When describing your video, try to use five words or more and be as descriptive as you can. Try to include things like the colors, location, objects, or anything else you want to see in the video. For my first video example, let's see if it can generate a video of a red motorcycle racing down a curvy mountain road. So for this text prompt, I have my object, which is my motorcycle, the color, which is red, the location, which is a curvy mountain road, and what the motorcycle should be doing, which is racing down. So once you finish writing your text prompt and describe the AI video that you want, simply go down to the bottom here and click the Generate Video button. And the Magic Media AI Video Generator will then analyze your text and start working its magic. Keep in mind, it may take one to two minutes for your video to generate, but once it's finished, you should have a new video that's exactly what you described in your text prompt. If you hover your mouse over the preview here, the video should start playing so you can see how it looks. Wow, I think that looks pretty good. But if the video isn't what you're looking for, you can always click the Generate Again button here to generate another one. But if you're happy with your video, simply click it to add it to your project. Once you add your video to your template, you can then resize it, move it around, and edit it however you like. There we go. So now let's play the larger version of my video so we can get a closer look at the details. As you can see, I have my red motorcycle racing down the mountain road. I think this looks great and will work perfectly for a project requiring this scene. And with your video selected, you can use the toolbar up top here to edit or adjust it however you like. If I click the edit tab on the left hand side here, it'll open up a menu where we can adjust the colors of the video, access the Magic Studio tools, apply various filters, and even adjust the playback settings. If you click the adjust tab at the top, you can use the slider bars here to adjust your video's white balance, the lighting, and the colors to get it exactly the way you want it. If we click the trim icon from the top toolbar, it'll open up a menu where we can trim our video. Currently, the videos generated on Canva are around 4 seconds long. But if you wanted to make it even shorter, or get a specific part of the clip, you could use the trim tool here. But for my video, I think I'm going to use the full 4 seconds. The next tool in our video editing toolbar here is the background remover. This is actually really cool and we'll be taking a look at this later in the video. Beside this we have the playback tab where we can adjust our video speed and select whether or not to have it play on repeat or play automatically. If I'm adding my video to a presentation or a project, I like to have it play on repeat since it's only 4 seconds long. 
In using the other options here, you can add a border to your video, crop your video, flip your video, or adjust the transparency. So for my red motorcycle racing down a curvy mountain road, I think the AI generated video came out pretty good. So now let's add another page to my project and see what else the AI video generator can do. And this time, I want to see how it does when generating a person. So from the Magic Media app, let's click the go back button to get back to the text field. So for this example, let's say I'm creating a presentation on productivity and I need to add a video to one of my slots. Let's see if Canva's AI video generator can generate a video of a woman in an office working on a laptop. Now that I've described my video, let's go down to the bottom and click the generate video button. And after a minute or two, my video should be ready. And here's the AI generated video of a woman working on a laptop in an office. I think this looks super realistic. It almost looks like a real video shot on a camera. I think this is the perfect video for my presentation. So let's add it to my template and do some editing to create the perfect slide. There we go. This will definitely help my productivity presentation be a lot less boring. For our next example, I want to see if it's capable of generating a video of people walking around. So let's have it generate a video of an astronaut walking in a snowstorm. Now that I've added my text prompt, let's go down and click the generate video button. And after a couple of minutes, I should have my video. Wow, from the preview here, I think this looks great. But let's add it to my template so we can get a better view. If you wanted your video to fill the entire template, you could simply right click it, then click the replace background tab. And now my video fills the whole page. So now let's play it and see how realistic it looks. I think this is super cool. If you look closely, you can definitely tell it's AI generated, but the overall effect is still there. I can now edit my video, add graphics, or maybe add text to create a video trailer for my upcoming book promo. If I was launching a book or something, this would probably spark some curiosity in a social media ad. For the next example, I want to see how it does when generating a detailed scene or landscape. So let's see what it comes up with when I ask it to create a scary cabin in the forest with smoke rising from the chimney. I can then click the generate video button and after a couple of minutes I should have my video. So here's my scary cabin in the woods with smoke rising from the chimney. I think this one turned out really good. It's almost exactly what I was imagining. And this would make a great background for a Halloween post or maybe some other scary video. So, so far, all of our AI generated videos have all looked pretty realistic. So now I want to see how it does when generating an animated video. For this example, I'm going to keep it simple and see if it can generate a video of an animated cat playing with the ball. Now let's click the generate video button and see what the AI video generator comes up with. And here's my animated cat playing with the ball. Let's check out the preview and see how it looks. Well, this is definitely a cat in a ball, but the movement's all over the place. I actually thought animated videos would be easier for the AI generator, but it looks like it may be better at generating realistic videos. So for the last example we'll be taking a look at here, we'll be testing out the video background remover. This should allow us to remove and replace the background in our video. So let's see if we can generate a video of a dancing bear wearing a top hat. We can then go down and click the generate video button and see what the Magic Media AI video generator comes up with. And here's my dancing bear in a top hat. I think this one actually looks pretty good, like a 3D animation. It's still not perfect, but definitely better than the last one. So let's add my video to my template and see if we can give our bear a better background. Our dancing bear looks pretty happy here, but I think he deserves to be on a stage. So to make this happen, let's select the video and from the toolbar up top, let's click the BG Remover tab. The Canva background remover should start working its magic, and after a moment, your background should be removed. So here's my dancing bear without the black background. With the background removed, I should now be able to add any background that I like. So to find a new background for my bear, let's go to the menu on the left hand side and click the Elements tab. From here, you can search the Canva library for an image or even a video to use for your background. For my background, I think I'm just going to search for a photo of a stage. I think this one here will work. So let's add it to my template and move it behind my bear. And there we go. I can even edit my bear by making him larger or moving him around on the template. And there we go. So let's see how he looks now when dancing on his new stage. Not bad. I think this makes for a much better video. And this is just a quick example of what you can do with the AI video generator and the Canva editing tools. So once you're ready to share or download your video, you can do that by clicking the share button at the top right here. This will open up a menu with several options. To download my video, let's click the download icon at the bottom here. 
This will take you to a menu where you can select your download settings. Under file type, make sure you have MP4 video selected. Underneath this, you can use the slider bar to adjust the quality of your video. The slider goes all the way up to 4K, but in order to use the quality slider, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. You can then make sure you have the right page selected, and once you're ready, go ahead and click the download button at the bottom. And my new Dancing Bear video will be downloaded to my device. Let's open it up and check it out. So as you can see, you can create some really cool video clips using the Canva AI Video Generator. Whether you're working on a project, a presentation, or an ad campaign, I encourage you to give it a try and see what you can come up with. So that's a quick overview of how to use the Canva Magic Media AI Video Generator. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.